Hi, I'm Eve, and I'm 21 years old, and I have 10 Baron Wallman syndrome. I was born with a hole in my heart. I had to go get heart surgery. I had this device put in my heart, and that saved my life. I really wanted to know what I had for a really long time, and I didn't get diagnosed until I was 18 years old. A lot of people don't know about my syndrome. It's very rare and not common. I think that Eve, with some assistance, will be able to live on her own. She has the ability to be very independent, so that's kind of what we've been aiming for uh, since we found out that she has TBRS and that there are going to be lifelong challenges. We try to organize our lives and live them in a way that, uh, that will set Eve up for the future when we're not around. Life can take a lot more time. Rushing out the door was something that you didn't dream of because there was always a lot of things that you had to think about. You become a person that you probably never would have become if you hadn't had a child with special needs. You meet a lot of people that you probably wouldn't meet. Families that are willing to help and that you know you share struggles. There's just so much that, that you can learn from somebody when they have struggles and they get on top of that and they overcome whatever it is that they're having challenges with. It's incredibly inspiring and it taught our other daughter, Morgan, good compassion, social skills. There's just so much that you can learn. Eve and I love each other very much all throughout our lives. When we were young, we would do dances together and we would do a lot of make-believe games and stuff like that. Eve was going about her life in her development and I was developing in a different aspect of my life. Having a sister with special needs, I got to experience a lot of things that have really, you know, opened my eyes to neurodiverse perspectives. When I was younger, I used to also tutor um, our neighbor who also had special needs, and I don't know that I would have had the skill set that I did to be able to do that had I not grown up with Eve. I would take more of like a, a leadership or teaching role when Eve was learning how to do math and things like that. It's always a challenge, but the best part about having a sister with a disability is we have a sister bond. My sister's like my second mom when my mom is in a world. Challenges I have are my thinking. Someone with Tat and Brown Wallman syndrome, you have to explain things to us because we might not understand or it takes us longer and it's frustrating and hard and it's a struggle. I try to think up strategies just to help calm myself down and just take a second and breathe in and out and just think and take time to yourself. The therapy has been a critical component. She had a lot of occupational therapy. Speech therapy and communication skills because I struggle with my communication skills a lot. I'm getting better at them. I like being with my family. I think I would be a good aunt. <laughs> you do something wrong, Eve will never be unwilling to forgive and to be patient with you. And I wouldn't change having a sister with special needs because that would be changing you entirely. And and I wouldn't want that to change. I would change how people in the world perceive neurodiverse individuals. There's not enough education in schools and I think that with more of that, people like Eve would have a much easier time accepting themselves and people, you know, like you and me would have a much easier time interacting with people like Eve. I think it would be cool for people to know more about TBOS and research it and I just wish I could think faster and I can just be like other people and not have special needs. That's how God made me so I can't change that. <laughs>